What's going on guys, it's your boy Shady Mike Gaming and we are back with another Jump Shot Fix. Uh, today we got LeBron James, uh, so we're gonna knock out LeBron today. And guys, this video is gonna be a little bit more informal, I guess, but we're gonna go through, make sure we knock out LeBron. Guys, I've, I've been getting so many DMs. What are you using for LeBron? What are you using for LeBron? What are you, let's let's just go ahead and knock LeBron out. Um, before we get into Jump Shot though, guys, if you like the content, like the video, subscribe. Um, you know, got a lot of heat coming up on the channel. So so keep it locked uh, to the channel. So, uh, yeah, and I wanted to say that really quick too, guys. I, I've got a lot of DMs, and, and I do apologize. Uh, it's, sometimes it's difficult on different platforms and things of that nature to get to all of these messages. So DMing me on Twitter, Discord, Instagram, uh, you know, keep keep sending them, guys. We are going to get to all of the, the requests. Um, you know, we're, we're going to get to all the jump shot requests and things of that nature. Just, you know, I apologize if I miss one of your DMs, uh, you send it again. Just, hey, Shady, you missed me. Um, I apologize. But um, one thing about like all the jump shot requests, though, like, please make sure it's somebody that I don't know that everybody wants to see. Right. Like, you know, make sure it's somebody maybe that's either in 2K or can be modded into 2K. Like if you know, trust me, I want to get to everybody's jump shot requests, especially if you're paying me. But I. <laughs> You know, if if you want me to do a jump shot fix for the ninth grader in your hometown, right? It, it's kind of impossible. So uh, do keep that in mind. Um, regardless, we've got a lot of heat coming up on the channel. Um, LeBron, Luca, I, I know Ja Morant. Um, who else will be working on? I, I got a Steph I'm working on. Um, Jalen Green. We're gonna take another look at Paolo Bancaro. Like we, we got heat coming up, guys. So uh, keep it locked. Uh, remember, my members of my YouTube channel will get all those jump shots first, early releases for those guys. So hit the join button, support the channel. It's only a dollar, but I've rambled enough. Let's go ahead and get right into LeBron James. So like I said, we're going to do this a little bit informal to start off, right? Like I, when it comes to LeBron's base, I really do, because I wanted to make sure I came in the game and, and at least showed you guys the default base. Um, listen, I really do like the default base. Um, a lot of people don't like the default base, so I'll make sure I have options for it. But we want to just talk about the details and why it's pretty good and then why sometimes it doesn't really look that good. So uh, the first thing that you want to take a look at with LeBron when he shoots, right? And I'll see if I can uh, get a better angle here. That's not a great one because his legs are, are kind of glitched. So we'll, we'll skip that one. But uh, let's watch when he goes to shoot, right? The number one thing we want to look for LeBron is just like the angle of his body is always facing to his left. So might not be facing, you know, like that way a lot. But you can see that it, it kind of is. He almost has like a little tilt um, to the jump shot. And so you'll see like he'll have that right foot in front of the left and there's just a little angle um, to the left side of his body. Now, when LeBron goes to shoot, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky, sometimes he's got like this, I don't wanna call it a fade, but it's just, we call it a sway. When the legs are behind the body and then they're in front of the body. So on the default, it's beautiful and it's significant. But the reality of the situation is he doesn't always shoot like that so uh, we're gonna make sure we head into the menu uh and i'll give you guys some alternatives for if you don't like that but i did want to just come in and show like i really am digging this new base for lebron it is new this is was not in 2k22 at all to my understanding so this this looks completely new um and next we'll we'll go ahead and take a look at the release so one of the things I wanted to do with LeBron's release is I wanted to raise it up a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong. The 2K release, it's great. Um, it looks great, but they kind of have the ball resting on his forehead. And when you watch LeBron shoot, there's quite a bit of space usually between the ball and his head. So I, I really wanted to, you know, make sure I could just kind of increase the amount of space between the ball and his actual forehead so that it's not kind of like resting there. That was one thing about the default shot. I just don't really like. We don't want his release to be crazy high, but I did want it to be higher. Another thing we wanted to take a look at, and this is kind of a weird thing to explain, but just like the motion, right, LeBron, the default LeBron is just super smooth, I guess is what I would say. And LeBron is like a definite two motion shooter. You can see like when he shoots, he shoots with force. He shoots with an action. You can see kind of that flicking motion. And my shot 
does that way better than the the default shot and you know you can really really see when he goes to shoot and don't mind the base on this clip because he's kind of like glitched as you can see like the way he landed his man sliding across the the thing i digress but there's one thing i wanted to capture and I, again i know this video is not super formal but i just wanted to capture that flick um from lebron's shot man because he really he has a true uh two motion shot so that that was one of the things that i was making sure i captured uh, with the release All right, guys, let's take a look at LeBron James, the base. This is the just kind of the default standard shot, but I'll show you guys a couple of options. Uh, the first thing that you want to do, right, uh, you want to go to his body and drop his height. We're going to drop him down to 6'3 real quick, then we're going to come all the way back. Um, for the bases, the first one that I want to show is... If I can find it. there's so many different bases in this game but uh yeah uh James Booknight uh this is a really good one for LeBron James we used it last year this is just base uh 38 in NBA 2k22 um this one does a really good job at angling his body to the left so this one looks really good um another one that I was showing uh earlier um or sorry one that i meant to show <laughs> earlier is the De'Aaron fox one this is another good one again you can see he's got that uh, body facing to the left these are really the three that i like lebron fox and book knight uh De'Aaron fox though i think is a new base so that's not an nba 2k22 for all my people still on 2k22 um but yeah base uh the the release um karis lavert it, from last year is 119 and then a Oro from last year, I think, is 139. I got to triple check that, but I think it's 139. Uh, anyways, we move to the moving jump shots. I didn't change LeBron's free throw. I'm fine with it. Some people don't like it, though, believe it or not. I did have some people last time I was streaming say they don't like it, but I'm not changing it. I like it. Um, for the dribble pull-up, um, this is default. I like the dribble pull-up for LeBron. The reason being, when he does his pull-ups, um, he doesn't really do pull-ups anymore. LeBron's pull-ups, he literally kind of just like stops. It's not even a real pull-up, but you can see in the Pro 2, he, he plants his feet. So that's what we're looking for looking for but even this is kind of like inaccurate because he literally just kind of stops when he does his pull-ups um hop jumper uh you don't have to change this but i put it to jason tatum now look some people might not agree with this but i'm i'm gonna explain why and i think i can back it up with the footage too uh lebron does every now and again do a textbook step back i'll make sure i edit that in now um but when he so he does the textbook step back sure but the number one thing LeBron is doing is he is doing this year, and this is, I'm looking at super recent footage. LeBron is doing all of these like Jason Tatum-like sidesteps. And I'm not just showing clips on the screen for LeBron to, to miss and, you know, make him look bad. I'm like, literally, these are the shots that he's taking this year and he is not making these shots. I don't know. So like, <laughs> I'm not just trying to troll, like you guys know me, but he's taking all these Jason Tatum type sidesteps and this dude is not hitting them, but it's what he's doing. So I'm trying to be as accurate and as thorough as possible. Uh, dunks and layups for LeBron. So he's got, we got the LeBron James layup package. 
I think it's legitimately trash. Um, it, it just takes off from too far away and it looks really weird. So we always ditch that. Um, I have been using long athletes for years on LeBron. I am not going to change that. Now, the LeBron James dunk package is great. It's got a lot of his power, one-handed power dunks. That's the main reason you use um, those. But, I mean, LeBron has so many different dunk packages. And I, I don't want to take them off because he does do a lot of this stuff. But the main ones I think you want to go for that we've seen from LeBron, you definitely want to stick with the reverses. I mean, you want to stick with the clutch reverses. I don't know the last time I've seen him do a reverse dunk. I definitely haven't seen him do a cradle dunk. I don't know about that. Definitely, I would keep the windmills. Uh, definitely keep the back scratchers. And I would probably get rid of front clutches. The Uber Athletic Tomahawks are kind of, you know, the straight arm Tomahawks. Athletic one handers. Um, I would get rid of those three. Um, just because like his dunk package has all those. So I'll get rid of those three. I would keep sidearm Tomahawks because I still don't think I, I think the sidearm Tomahawks dunks are better than the ones in the LeBron James dunk package. Uh, when we go to the fade, there's actually a LeBron James fade, uh, which does look OK, but um, I didn't find it to be what he does most of the time. Most of the time I see him fade to his left. I mean, he's got a very like wide leg kick, uses it to create space between him and the defender. So that's what I went with. You don't have to change that because the, the LeBron one didn't look that bad, but um, I just like this one personally. Uh, I'm not changing anything with the dribble moves, guys. You got the LeBron James everything. Uh, the signature size up is where he does that weird thing where he looks at his hand and then shoots it. That's very funny to me, but it's, it's super accurate, super cool that they got that in the game. But guys, uh, that is it for my LeBron James jump shot. Kind of edit, I guess. This is just what I'm using for LeBron right now all of it's backed up by footage but some of it is from like you know footage in years past like i don't think he's dunking crazy this year but we still go through you know we talk about what we've seen from lebron um make sure you guys follow me on all my socials instagram twitter at shady mike gaming thank you for all the support on the channel i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm signing out peace threes